Enjoy your hollow victory, Barefoot. My mission on your planet will have to remain unfinished for now. But I will rebuild and return stronger and faster than before. Victory will be mine! Alma Altarata! On the replay, it's very easy to see the beating both these trucks are taking. Invader seems to have problems now. And then, going over the last set of cars, Barefoot hits the top of the last car and slides off. He may be injured. This crowd is ready for a final, and a final between Crusher and Barefoot is set when Monster Wars returns. Monster story unfolding right now at the Minneapolis Metrodome. Barefoot and Carolina Crusher were scheduled to compete in the finals. But both trucks, that's right, both trucks developed engine trouble and have just been towed away from the starting line. A bad break for both Fred Schaefer and Gary Porter. But it's good news for Taurus and Equalizer. Lux with them as they now advance to the finals. That gives David Morris the possibility of back-to-back -back victories if he can duplicate Equalizer's win last week in Anaheim. Joe Lowe, have you ever seen anything like it in your life? Not in all my many years. You don't want to call this a monster truck race. This is more like a, a demolition derby. Equalizer going against Taurus in the final. This is the toughest track we have seen all year on Monster Wars. You, you brute! I ain't letting you out of my sights again. Dang, you sure are easy on the eyes. You want to dance, darling? Surprise, come with that shake, sweetheart. Whoa, not so fast there, cowboy. The Ice Princess belongs to the Equalizer. So why don't you step up to the starting line and pick on somebody your own size? David Morris pulls Equalizer up to the starting line. His competition is Taurus. How did these two trucks make it to the finals? Well, the tough, tough track has taken out everybody else. First of all, Equalizer defeated First Blood in round one, was beaten by Invader in round two, and didn't even go to the semis. And Taurus, well, he defeated Invader, then took out Tropical Thunder, but was beaten by Carolina Crusher in the finals. Basically, these are the fastest losers running in the final. On the start, Equalizer with a great hole shot. Taurus battles to make it back, but he can't do it. What a close race. 4.57 for Equalizer, 4.63 for Taurus. Taurus has trouble stopping. He makes it, though, but your winner is David Morris and the Equalizer. Oh, yeah, all tied and bound. All this guy needs is a gag in his mouth. Hey, Taurus, don't you ever show your face in my house again. And if you ever touch my ice, Princess, I'll take more than just your boots. Do fry come with that shape? <laughs> dance, cowboy, dance! <clears throat> your winner here in Minneapolis, David Morris driving Equalizer. You know, it takes more than just coming out here and racing fast. you got to hold your truck together. These guys both were out of the action, but were called to duty when other trucks broke. They gave us some of the fastest times and closest racing we've seen all day. David Morris drives equalizer to a win. Jim's with him. David, a hop, skip, and a jump, and there you are, the winner in Minneapolis. Tell me how things unfolded there. It's pretty confusing. Well, you know, I was out of the, uh, completely out of the race, you know, and I'm just tickled to death to be back in it now. You know, the other trucks were broke and they couldn't come back. So, you know, that kind of got me going there when I got to come back in the final race. So then, I, you know, what have I got to lose? I'm just going to go for it. Well, it's a long family tree. Barefoot couldn't make it. He stopped on the line. Invader couldn't come back. He broke against Barefoot in the semis. So there you are. You go ahead and jump two rounds, and you're in the finals against Taurus, who's replacing Carolina Crusher. Something in the air here in Minneapolis. I'll save it. You know, I'll take these wins however I can get them. Congratulations. Thank you. What an incredible story from Minneapolis. Here's a quick look at how the turn of events at the Metrodome affected the season point standings. Next week, Grave Digger will be back to defend his number one ranking. And you can bet that Barefoot and Carolina Crusher have something to prove after both being towed away from today's final race. As you found out today, you never know what can happen in monster truck competition. For Joe Lowe and Jim Davidson, I'm Luann Lee. We'll see you next week on Monster Wars.